How to record a macro in Word 365. Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and I'm going to show you how to record a simple macro in Word 365. Okay, on my screen I just have a blank piece of paper and I'm on the Home tab in Word. And the first thing I need to do is figure out what I want the macro to say. So uh, in this example, I'm just going to make like a signature happen. So let's say I want the macro to run and uh, print out, or not print, but type out my signature block at the end of a business letter. So I might want it to say something like this. OK, that's a lot to type out at the end of every business letter. A macro would make this much faster and much easier. I could have the macro do all that typing for me just by clicking the button. Press enter a couple times, move down the page a little bit. So uh, let's try this out. What I'm going to do is select all of this that I just created. Now I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to click copy up here. Or I could just press control C on my keyboard. Now I'm going to deselect that, press enter a couple of times. And now I'm ready to record the macro and make it do all that writing for me. The macro menu is not found on the home ribbon, as you can imagine, on the home tab up here. There's nothing up here about a macro. You have to go to the view tab in order to find a macro tool. The macro tool is found way over here on the right hand side of the view tab and when you select it you get these two choices you can click to view the macros you've already recorded or you can click this menu choice to actually start recording okay right now I'm gonna click view macros and let's see what's what's in there uh, well nothing there here's the macro dialog box there's no macros in here it's blank I haven't recorded any yet so I'll just close this, and now I'm ready to record. So I'm going to select the bottom part of the, of the macro button. By the way, if I select the top part, again, it just brings up the uh, dialog box. So I'm going to click the bottom part, and now I'm ready to start record macro. So I'm going to click that, and uh, it's asking me, OK, here's another uh, the other dialog box that, that it has, it's asking me, OK, set it up. So what name do I want to give the macro? Well, the default setting is just macro1. Well, I'm not going to just have it say that. So I'm going to just call it signature. And now I have to assign the macro either to a button or to a keyboard stroke. Well, right now I'm going to choose a button. Let's see how that works. And before I do that, notice that down here in the store macro in area, it's storing it in the normal template. The normal template is the one that it is the default template for all Microsoft Word blank pages that come up when you first open Microsoft Word. The normal template will open up just a blank page. So I'm going to assign the macro to a button that I can just click. And when I do that, it will just run the whole thing for me. But before I select the button here and click OK, before I do that, I want to type a little description in here. So I'm just going to call it uh, my signature for all business correspondence. OK. So now I'm ready to select the button. And when I do that, it brings up this big dialog box uh, called Word Options. And what I need to do is take this icon. This is a, like a little sort of um, picture of what the macro is represented by. This is little icon represents what a macro is. So what I want to do is add this to my quick access toolbar which always sits in the upper left corner of every window of every uh, word window so along with my save and save as and everything else I've set up there I'm going to choose this and click add it will always be on every word document that I create it will be there for me if I ever want to use it 
So now I'm going to click OK down here at the bottom. And uh, if you look up here, in the um, way in the upper left corner, you can see this area up here is called the Quick Access Toolbar. And this has all the tools on it that I've added to it. And here is the macro button. And by the way, look what happens if I roll my mouse back over here. Look at the mouse, uh, or rather the um, pointer. There's like this little funny looking picture attached to it. Well, that little picture means that it is recording. It's recording everything I'm doing. This little picture, by the way, represents an old-fashioned thing that people used to use to listen to music with before CDs came along, before you know DVDs came along, before the internet came along. Uh, it's called a cassette tape, and you used to use that to um, record things on and uh, play music on. So uh, I'm still recording. So now what I need to do is actually record the macro. So I'm going to do that by uh, putting in my signature block. And I did that by uh, pressing Control and the letter V for Victor on my keyboard because that's a shortcut of how you can you know, paste something in. You may not remember, but earlier in this video, I went up here and I selected it and copied it. And so now I just pasted it in while I am recording the macro. So now I can stop recording and let's see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I'm going to choose stop recording. And I'm going to delete all of this. And let's see what happens when I click that little macro button up here on the shortcut, the uh, rather the quick access toolbar. I'm going to click it now. It did it. I clicked the button and it instantly typed out or pasted in rather my whole signature block. So every time I click that, it'll keep doing it. So that's a great shortcut. I mean, anytime I need to write a business letter, at the end of the letter, all I have to do is click this little macro button that I made and it'll type the whole thing in for me. If you want to see and review this macro, you can go back up here to this button and uh, select the top half of it or the bottom half and click view macros either one it will do the same thing and there is the macro right there it's called signature that's the name I gave it it's the only macro I have right now and it'll tell me down here that I created it for use in all active templates and documents and that my description uh, is the one that I gave it, my signature for all business correspondence. Uh, macro, if I wanted to edit the macro, I would click Edit, and it opens up Visual Basic, which is the programming code that the computer uses to create the macro. And if you know how to use Visual Basic language, you can go in here and make uh, changes to the macro. So now I'm going to close the Visual Basic window. So I'm going to go way up here in the upper right corner and close the whole thing and get back to my main page. So that's a basic introduction to recording macros in Word 365.